Earth's oceans are huge heat stores. They have soaked up 93% of the excess heat from human activity over the past 70 years. Ocean currents redistribute heat around the planet, from the equator to the poles. At the surface, they are driven mainly by winds. At depth, they are caused by differences in water density due to temperature and salinity. Where this ocean heat goes influences weather patterns and regional climate. Europe's mild climate is due to the warm Gulf Stream and North Atlantic Current. Ocean heat waves can lead to coral bleaching and habitat loss. As well as absorbing heat, oceans are a natural carbon sink. They absorb about a quarter of the carbon dioxide emissions from human activity. This has led to the acidification of ocean water, threatening marine life. The amount of heat and carbon dioxide absorbed depends on a number of ocean variables, phytoplankton, temperature, waves, salinity, and ice cover. All of which can be measured from space. Satellites can measure sea level and slope, from which surface currents can be derived. Maps of ocean salinity show regions of evaporation, precipitation, and river inflow. High evaporation in the enclosed basin of the Mediterranean Sea raises its salinity. Elsewhere, rainfall and upwelling lower salinity. Ocean salinity rises in areas where sea ice forms because salt is left behind when the water freezes. This cold, salty, dense water sinks into the ocean's depths on a centuries-long journey known as the thermohaline circulation. This vertical overturning of the ocean is crucial for regulating global climate and helps drive surface currents like the Gulf Stream. As the climate warms, there are some signs that the overturning in the North Atlantic is weakening, which could lead to cooler air over Europe and more winter storms. The Atlantic coast of North America could see higher sea levels, warmer waters, and more powerful hurricanes. ESA's Climate Change Initiative is producing long-term datasets that help us understand how oceans influence climate and how the changing climate is affecting our oceans.